All right, here we go. Last one for the night. Uh, this one... This one goes out to Inde. I hope I pronounced that right. Metal Gear Solid 1, very easy, PC, any percent. Three, two, one, go! Rochetta is trying and Jaguar is doing extreme. Jag, uh, uh, Jaguar King um, is uh, is probably one of the more higher profile Metal Gear speedrunners. He, he's been doing a lot of... He's been doing a lot of... Um, speed running of extreme trying to break world i think he's already he's already broken broken the world record for extreme uh, i uh, i ran extreme at esa recently uh, this is before the before the boba skip had been found i just needed that guard to shoot me and very important i take some take some damage there um so i ran I ran any percent. Um, I ran any percent extreme at ESA this year. My first ever submission to ESA. Have I killed that guard? Oh no, he's still here. I thought I'd. I thought I'd killed him. <laughs> that would have been awkward. I need some alerts from this guy. Uh, for context, um, the reason why I'm doing... Do you remember Remember in the previous run where the, I had to find the... I had to find the PAL key in the ditch? Um, if you have less than 11 alerts by the time you get to the PAL key in the ditch, um, then a rat will eat the key. So instead, we try and farm alerts. And this is the best time to do it. We've got nothing else to do whilst we wait for the elevator in here. Uh... Yeah, so we need to get to 11 alerts so that the rat doesn't spawn. Uh, that's six. That should be enough. And just in time as well, there's the assistant director credit, meaning the elevator is going to turn up in just a second. And there's the elevator. So that's why we... That's, what, that's called alert farming. Uh, and that's what we do whilst we wait for this elevator. The, the elevator always turns up at the same time. The only, the only way the elevator can turn up any slower is if you're currently in an alert or evasion. If you're in an alert or evasion, you have to wait for that alert or evasion to end, and then, uh, and then the elevator will turn up. Right, so we're going to grab these chaff grenades. We're gonna make our way over to the vents. Shoot that guard with the MP5. The MP5 here that I've got is exclusive to Very Easy. It's a silenced automatic rifle with infinite ammo. Uh, it's only it's given to Snake from the very start of the game. It replaces the FAMAS uh, and uh, is only available in Very Easy. Um, if you're a fan, if you're a fan of Metal Gear Solid, and you've been playing for a, you've been playing for a long time. You might be wondering why you've never seen Very Easy before. Uh, Very Easy is only available in the integral versions of the game, and there are only two version. There are only two integral versions. Integral was released in Japan uh, and includes three discs. It includes the VR missions, and then that version is what the PC port is built on. So those are the only two in in the UK, in the US, in you know in PAL regions and outside of Japan, you can't actually get a PS1 version of Metal Gear Solid Integral. Got a nice fast elevator, which is good. Okay, we're going to use the elevator skip. You've seen me do this in the previous run. This is where we go back up to the previous floor. And then spam the area reloader so that we load back on the previous floor, but out of bounds. I'm going to use the area reloader there. I'm going to use it there. I'm now going to eat the ketchup so that I no longer have it in my inventory. This is going to confuse Johnny. And when Johnny now runs off to the toilet, normally what we would do is we're, Johnny would run off to the toilet. We'd crouch down on the floor 
get the ketchup out. Um, and then when John and spill it all over the floor, and when Johnny comes back, he's gonna think, "Oh, there's been an accident. I better come and open the door and find out." And then we, we kill him. But because I've eaten the ketchup, when Johnny goes to the toilet, the game goes, "Oh, you haven't got the ketchup anymore. Oh, then you must have already failed to use it. So we better send the ninja in to save you instead, because that's what happens. That's what happens next. The ninja comes and rescues you." Hotakan. So you're here to and I can take a small. I can take a small step forwards there. The ninja. And I'm gonna flip Johnny. I'm gonna mash two different weapon hotkeys to keep Snake's forwards momentum. Get in the elevator and head down to B two to grab the PSG one. Or the long pew pew, as we've now called it. Uh, quick throw this guard. Gonna sneak around that guard. Gonna grab the PSG one and area reload back to the elevator. I love the sliding to the door. The, that's 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 called swim, um, or the volcanic shuffle, uh, named after volcanic Akuma. Swim stands for swapping weapons infinite momentum. Um, Basically, by constantly swapping weapons, Snake maintains his forwards momentum. You don't have to hold a direction. Uh, and because we can use weapon hotkeys, even during times where we don't have control of Snake, we can use Swim to keep Snake moving at those moments. And that's what's happening in that scene there. So normally Snake would stop, but he doesn't. Use the area reloader to skip the, uh, the finish of that animation. Under here. We're going to use the area reloader again. We're going to skip this codec call. We're going to use the area reloader now because that has now reset. Oh, that has now reset the pattern of the guards in this room. The, the guards have, reter have returned to their original positions so that I can kill that guard there. If I didn't use the if I didn't use the area reloader there. The guard, that guard would be much further forwards, uh, and I would uh, have a bit more of a difficult time shooting him. All right, we are getting close to the Boba Skip. That's Bookcase Boss. We defeat Bookcase Boss with the Area Reloader. Uh, swapping weapons also makes your footsteps silent. That is also correct, yes. Uh, that is called skating. Then we use GME to go out of bounds. Uh, and what I'm doing, I'm moving down to clip round to the top of the level. I'm going to do it again here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and we're in. Here we go. The Boba Skip. Let's hope I get it right this time, because um, it went horribly wrong during that last one. Just couldn't get the animation. So um, here's hoping. We get some hype for the Boba Skip. All right, marker three. Marker four. Stun grenade at marker five. Marker six. Marker seven. Stun grenade at marker eight. Gives me one more stun grenade. Come on. Boba skip. First try. All right, we're going to... And then we're just going to swim our way through the invisible barrier for Wolf 2. That's how we beat Wolf 2. 
and in nine minutes and 35 seconds we are on to disc two i do believe i do believe i've just beaten the disc one world record which i only uh, i only submitted today so we have individual levels as well there is the individual levels for um for disc one and disc two um i've just beaten the world record for disc one <laughs> 